Hello, Libra. Welcome to your March reading. So this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. Let's take a the, look at the energy coming into the reading. What's influencing that energy? Recent past. What's on your mind? Why is it all happening? What will you experience in the near future? How you see yourself throughout March? What or who is in your environment coming in that you don't see? What's going on in your emotions? And we'll take a look at your outcome. If you're new here, welcome. If you like what you see, I hope you decide to subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you for all your beautiful energy and support. We're also going to clarify the reading, so hit stick around to the very end. Energies can switch up. All right, check it out. What's coming in? We've got the Six of Coins in reverse. All right, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. You may feel as though there's an imbalance, right? I always like to look at this card. I love this deck. It's beautiful, but it came out in reverse. So this is an imbalance. This is feeling like you're giving your time, your money, your energy, and it's not being reciprocated, right, Libra? And you guys need balance. So something seems one-sided. What's influencing that energy? The Five of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So in your emotions, it could be regret. Maybe you gave too much of your money, your time, your energy to someone and with the Five of Cups, now there's like this disappointment or regret. Maybe you've even done this in the past. What's on your mind, Libra? The Hanged Man. Pisces energy. You might feel a little bit stuck, but also maybe, you know, there's this energy of like a pause. It's like I need to take a step back and see why there's this imbalance, right? Why am I at this stalemate energy? Or, you know, again, something's just kind of stuck. It's not moving, but you're trying to gain a new perspective and how to get out of that energy. What happened in the recent past? Queen of Swords. There you are. Male or female, Queen of Swords is Libra in energy, wanting the truth, wanting communication, cutting off people, you know, kind of really in vetting mode and using logic over emotion when it comes to what you want, what you deserve. Kind of some of you literally just spoke your truth to someone. What's the situation? Why is this all happening? The page of coins. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Page of Coins is communication, but also this is all happening throughout March because, again, there's a little bit of a breadcrumb here, right? In relationships, it feels as though you're, you've been giving a lot of your time and energy and maybe even money, and you're not getting it back. And it feels like you kind of got to this point where you're in more of that strict energy of, I'm just not going to tolerate this anymore, and I'm going to tell you. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? The Four of Swords, also the card of Libra. Withdrawing, pulling away from people, really relying on your own thoughts, that quiet time, meditation, you know, praying or reaching out to your spirit guides, but you're doing it while withdrawing from other people and other situations, just taking a break, right? How do you see yourself throughout March? The Three of Wands in reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries, energy. It's like, I got to turn my back you know, on people and situations that aren't manifesting, where things aren't coming back to me. Again, you know, when you're a Libran, you require balance and you expect that equal give and take. What or who's in your environment coming in that you don't see? The two of wands. So two is all about a choice or decision. The, in, the, in this deck, it's a little bit different. You're not really at a crossroads. This is more about your path being lit for you, you know, right? Making plans for the future. You see light at the end of the tunnel. You see a purpose here. And I feel like the universe is bringing you a choice or a decision. And that's why you're going to also experience this meditative energy. And it all has to do with kind of slow, a little bit boring energy with the Page of Pentacles. What's going on in your hopes or fears? The Queen of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. You might have fire in your chart, but this is really bossing up. It's it's confident. It's taking action. And, you know, it's feeling that fire. And, you know, again, just confidence. Because, again, in the recent past, a lot of you went through that Queen of Swords energy where it's just... You're vetting, right? And that's helping you feel empowered. People are also going to be really attracted to that energy with the Queen of Wands. What's your outcome? <laughs> also Libra energy, Six of Swords, the good old water Ubers being called. This is finally leaving turbulent times behind, maybe even so in your thoughts, leaving people and situations behind. It's like time to move on. And I love that the Queen of Wands is in your emotions, Libra, because again, this is what it takes. That's that fire that you need to let people know you mean business. You're not putting up with this little guy, Page of Pentacles. You deserve more. You want more. And again, for some of you, that is just pay or, you know, the um, amount of money that you're receiving at work or something like that. And for some of you, again, it's even outside of love relationships. It's just relationships in general. You're tired of giving your time and energy. 
right? So, all right, let's see. I'm going to put the link to the extended reading below. It'll be you versus them, where we will focus strictly on love. I'll also pin that in the comments section. All right. We're going to pull a card at the end of this reading, and that will um, focus on your extended. It'll be your mutual energy. All right. We're going to use the Light Sears deck here to clarify. Hey, real quick. Do y'all think that your sun sign resonates more in readings or your moon or Venus sign? Let me know. I'm curious. I feel like my moon definitely resonates the most. Just curious. I always like to know what people, how people feel about that. So let me know. All right, Libra. What does March look like for Libra? We're doing it and we're doing it now. If this does hit for you, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Do that for mom here. I appreciate it. And if it doesn't, always check out your other placements. You can get a little bit from each one that will help. All right, coming in, we've got the six of coins in reverse, and Libra doesn't like that imbalance. Nine of swords. It's just caused a lot of worry and anxiety. I think for a lot of you too, it's like, man, I'm working my bleep, bleep, bleep off. All my money is going out. Nothing's coming in return. Or again, you know, people are giving me a headache. And this deck, the late Sears, there's your air energy again. It's like a big fat headache, right? Because of this imbalance. And it's leaving you a little in your feelings as well. You've got the five of cups here influencing that energy with the seven of swords. People taking from you, right? Whether that's love or any relationship or even your damn money, Libra, your energy, your time. Seven of swords is people that are like, that's mine. And I'm going to go off in the night and you'll never see me leave right? And it's regret. So this could have even happened recently or will, it will happen throughout March, but it's happened before. And so with that five of cups, it's really thinking back to the past and being like, man, why did I allow that again? What the F? So that's why this is good, right? It gives you a little bit of a heads up. What happened here in the past? You've got the queen of swords. That's you and the Knight of Wands, romantically speaking, could have been connecting with somebody that's a little bit younger or their energy is a little flighty. You've got Sagittarius energy there, but it could be anybody. The Knight of Wands is in pursuit. He loves to exit, but hates to stay. You may have had a tongue lashing for this person, right? It's that inconsistent energy. And the Queen of Swords, when she raises that sword, is very truthful, but also will cut out the unnecessary What's on your mind, Libra, throughout March? Got the hangman, Pisces energy, and the devil. Not today, Satan. Not today, says Libra. You got Major Arcana for Capricorn. Oh, this is very stuck energy on your mind. And I think that you guys get to a point where you're just tired of being stuck. You know, of course, the devil likes to keep you tied and bound to that fear and negativity, anything toxic, right? It is temptation as well. But I think you put that temptation whether that's to help a friend or to move towards a lover or you know a romantic relationship, there'll be temptation. But when it's all said and done, it's that kind of mode where you're like, well, let me look at this in a different way. You know, what's this devil? What's this devil on your mind? The three of swords in reverse. Yeah, not today, Satan, not today. Three of swords in reverse is Libra energy. It's like, nope, I'm not doing it. Somebody could apologize here as well, but that person is a taker. And with the Three of Swords in reverse, again, this is you overcoming that disappointment and that heartache, having to separate from that energy. Why is it all happening? Slow, kind of breadcrumby energy. Got the Page of Pentacles or coins, whatever. And the Eight of Pentacles. This is you putting a lot of work into yourself as well and saying no to these breadcrumbs. Also, too, a lot of you are just working your bleep, bleep, bleeps off putting in that, doing that day in, day out work that you need to do, that you know is required of you and trying to grow that pentacle, but really that energy of it's just not quite enough. You expect more and you deserve more. Why the eight of pentacles and the chariot? Yeah, you'll move on. You've got cancerian energy and this is all about there's success ahead of me. I'm going to overcome obstacles. I'm going to slow down that energy and I am going to regain control of the situation. So victory and success here. Some of you in a work situation, yes, there is an imbalance and you're just doing more than what you're being acknowledged for. That will change. I, some of you might leave this job behind and go to something that's going to be a lot more beneficial financially. Somebody that deserves you more than this does, clearly. But I think a lot of you also have been putting in this time and effort and there's you know success where you are now. Somebody sees your worth finally. Took them long enough. What's coming into the near future? What will you experience? The Four of Swords resting because you've been working your butt off. 
and the five of pentacles and being like, well, where's the money, cha-ching, five of pentacles? There's not enough. I'm working my ass off and there's still not enough to pay the bills and to buy groceries and to fill my damn gas tank, to fill the chariot. So this is withdrawal. I think a lot of rest throughout March for y'all. Now, again, withdrawal, taking a break and pulling away. Also, romantically speaking, somebody reaches out, Libra probably told this person, maybe you haven't yet, but hey, don't expect much from me or you just completely don't respond. You're pulling away. It's very much isolation, but it's there's a reason. There's a reason for this. You're not just being an a-hole, Libra. Um, you see yourself as turning your back on, you know, people and situations that just have not manifested. What's this three of wands in reverse? Six of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You might be spending a lot of time with friends, friends who value you. That six of cups is very nurturing energy. You know, it's somebody that's quite emotional and sweet and, and, and kind and they pick you up when you're down, right? This can be a friendship card. But it's also turning your back on the past. I think you've tried and tried and tried. And when I say past, it doesn't have to be an ex. It's the past way of feeling and, you know, your past way of dealing with people and relationships. And again, this is really like, mm -mm, no more. What's coming in from your environment? What or who? So this is what the universe is bringing. You don't see two of wands with the moon in reverse. Pisces energy. There's a revelation, right? When that moon comes out in reverse, we're getting rid of the worry and the anxiety because there's a path that's going to be lit for you here. It will require you to think of things in a different way, right? To get to that calmer space we see in the outcome here, literally physically moving on, but more so mentally kind of getting through the muck. The moon in reverse is something is revealed to you. What is this? Moon in reverse. What's this moon in reverse? Major Arcana. And the nine of wands. Yeah, I can stand tall. You might try to push me down, but I'm, I'm going to persevere. Because that's not what the nine of wands does. The nine of wands has been through it. Struggles and, you know, it's annoyed and tired of dealing with people. It's like, quit texting me. Quit calling me. I've had it. <laughs> right? Now, somebody could open up to you and you will have this choice or decision to make. I think for a lot of you, you'll take on that nine of wands energy where, again, in the light Sears deck, it's very strong. You know, she's been through it. Her shirt's torn there, but she will persevere and she's going to have her guard up. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I'm still recovering. I feel like I, I will be saying that forever. It's taken forever. Um, what's going on in your emotions? So you're bossing up. You're very strong, confident energy. People are going to be attracted to that, but that Queen of Wands makes things happen. It's this Queen of Wands and the Tower. Letting everything come down around you. This feels like a huge awakening month for y'all. Probably also why you'll experience that four swords, getting your thoughts together through meditation and prayer or, or however you connect, right? However you get your energy back and you recover, the Tower Scorpio energy is a huge revelation that you are powerful, you are strong. What's this Tower? Why is the Tower in your emotions an epiphany? And look at you, justice, you're in your element. And it's in your emotions. Hey, let me know too. Maybe you have a Libra moon. But justice is back. You're getting that balance back. Remember, we came into the reading offset. There was a lack of balance. Things were shifty, right? But throughout March, you're, you're turning it around. But you're doing it by letting everything crumble around you and rebuilding. That's what we do with the tower. Justice is right over wrong. It's being truthful with people. But you know it's because it's, it's the best thing for everybody involved. Huge awakening month. What's the outcome, Libra? You've got the Six of Swords. Why is this in your outcome? Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Remember I said earlier you could, um, somebody kind of wakes up around you and says, wow, Libra's been doing a badass job. They have been working hard. This Ten of Pentacles is really making plans for your future. It's abundance. Could be a bonus. Could be more pay, a promotion, something like that. And for a few of you, with that Six of Swords, you'll be offered more pay somewhere else. Whether you take it or not, that's up to you. Uh, what's coming with this Ten of Pentacles and the outcome? Oh, look at you, Queen of Swords. Nice. She's sitting there, and in this deck, she's kind of contemplating. She's going to communicate. She's about to speak her truth. But why is she pausing? Why is she waiting? Well, because she's using logic, right? That's what the Queen of Swords does. And first, she has to take out the sword, the sword and cut out everything else, 
right? You move towards this Ten of Pentacles, Libra, whether that's a lump sum of money for you, whether that is a new job, but it will be a result of you leaving old things behind and more so mentally, you know, it's just better times ahead. I looked at the bottom of the deck because, well, I was curious. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's coming to you wanting to work with you, wanting to collaborate. This is also conversations, you know, within relationships, every type of relationship. Hey, are we back on the same page? Like, are things cool? It feels like a big, um, towards the end of the month, you're resolving something here with someone. Judgment taking a second chance, taking another look at something. So it does, while the beginning and throughout the middle of this month is all about, I'm not putting up with this anymore, something is resolved by the end of the month. And it looks like it goes in your favor, but it's going to, um, again, be a result of you guys having a very open, to-the-point dialogue with somebody who's been taking from you. Um, all right. Now on the extended reading, again, we will do a you versus them. I want to pull a card for your mutual energy over there. Give me one second. We got some scragglers here from the everyday witch tarot. All right. Y'all give me one second. Okay. So let's take a look at your, um, overall mutual energy with your person. And then we will reveal that energy over on the extended reading. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you on the extended. I love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon.